Hey, it's Dr. John Terry, and welcome to this Black Belt Leadership Master Your Life moment. I want to share in this lesson a teachable moment with my grandkids that happened this past week that has real life applications. And once again, I get to thank our new dog, Armani, for this life lesson. This life lesson asks the question, what's in your way? Now, let me set the story up. My grandkids came to visit this week, and Armani, our 12-week-old Catahoula, as usual, was very excited to see the grandkids, just as he is anybody coming to the house. But every time they turned around, he was right there under their feet, chewing at their shoelaces, grabbing at their jeans, and tripping them as they tried to walk. What was happening? Armani was getting in the way. He was making it difficult, if not impossible, for them to get where they really wanted to go. Armani had become an obstacle to their progress and to their success. And that's where this lesson comes to play. So let me pose a question. Has this ever happened to you? Have you ever had a little Armani in your life? Now, maybe you're not one of those that's ever had to try to raise a puppy. And when you've got a 12-week-old puppy clamming for your attention, it is a challenge. But here's what I know. You and I, we have all experienced obstacles, challenges, adversities, roadblocks, or setbacks in our lives. Things that inhibit our growth, that stymie our progress, or prohibit us from getting where we truly want to go. So the question is this, how do we respond when life gets in the way of our progress and inhibits our success? Let me start with this, perspective matters. Now, Christopher Reeve is probably best known for his role as Superman in the movies, although my mom, 83 years of age, would say his very best movie, which happens to be her favorite movie, was Somewhere in Time. Now, if you know the story of Christopher Reeve, you know that he was in the height of his career when he fell from a horse, severed his spine, and he found himself a quadriplegic. Now, Reeve could have turned bitter, but he didn't. Instead, he chose to champion the cause of those like him who were confined to a wheelchair, and he spent the remaining years of his life bringing attention to this very real struggle. He became a hero to millions, not because of his role as a superhero in the movies, but as a real-life hero battling to overcome a challenge that he was facing in his life. When asked what a hero was, Reeve made this very interesting quote. Reeve said, a hero is an ordinary individual who finds the strength to persevere and endure in spite of overwhelming obstacles. Christopher Reeve understood perspective matters. He chose to see his challenges not as an obstacle that held him back, but an opportunity to overcome and excel and truly become a superman. Now, my mentor and leadership expert, Dr. John Maxwell, says to expect failure in life, to welcome it, to embrace it, to learn from it. I've heard Dr. John say many, many times on several occasions, you're going to experience failure at times in your life. Sometimes you win, sometimes you learn. So go ahead, fail early, fail often, but always fail forward. Now, what was he saying? He was saying perspective matters. Dr. John was saying that oftentimes in life, we're gonna take three steps forward and then two steps back. We're going to stumble. We're going to fall. We're going to encounter a roadblock or something that gets in the way, a detour that takes us where we didn't know we were going. But ultimately, we get to choose how we respond. When we experience those roadblocks, those detours, those moments that we find ourselves halted in our progress, do we choose to learn from it and find a way to move forward? Or do we simply throw up our hands and give up and even stop trying? What gets in your way? You know, you and I, we all have our little Armanis in life, those things that find their way into their lives and they take many forms. Sometimes they're people. Yeah, often they're people. Other times they're circumstances or situations that are beyond our control. Sometimes it's our emotions that hijack our lives. And as a result of that, they take us on an unexpected roller coaster ride we weren't anticipating. Perhaps it's the unexpected loss of a family member or a friend. Maybe it's the loss of a key supplier, a vendor, or a client in your business. Or maybe it's a pileup on the interstate that delays you and causes you to miss a flight to go on a vacation you've been saving for for six months. Or maybe it's a child who woke up with the chicken pox and you've got to miss the next few days of work unexpectedly. So how do you respond 
when a little Armani tangles up your steps and it inhibits you from moving forward towards your goals. Perspective matters. One of the life lessons I learned early on from my dad is this too shall pass. It's something he taught me early and he taught me often. My dad helped me understand that the delays we experience in life are nothing more than momentary events. But life is a journey. Moments will pass, but the journey continues. Events will come and go, but life keeps going. Now, dad often reminded me that there's going to be times when I have to stop, I have to back up, and I have to start over. Sometimes I have to stop, and I have to back up, and sometimes I have to go a different direction. It wasn't the way I intended to go, but what often happens is when those detours, those roadblocks, those unexpected things show up in our lives, it detours us to ultimately where we really need to go in our lives. Think of it this way. It's like an explorer hacking his way through the jungle. It's unexplored territory, and you're having to blaze your own trail. There is no internet highway. There is no paved road. There is no road, period. And there's going to be times if you've ever been in the jungle or in the deep woods that you've got to alter your course. You've got to turn around. You've got to back up to eventually find your way through thick jungle growth to arrive where you intended. And sometimes you're going to end up in an entirely different place than you anticipated, only to find something extraordinary when you get there. But that only happens when you maintain the right perspective. Understand this. Sometimes a detour that takes us from where we plan to go can actually take us where we really wanted or needed to be in the first place. Let me give you an example. In 1928, Dr. Alexander Fleming was experimenting with Staphylococcus bacteria, the things that make us sick. Upon returning from a brief vacation, he noticed mold growing in a Petri dish that he was using for his staph experiments probably drifted from another part of his lab where he was cultivating various molds that he was studying in a lower part of his home. But Dr. Fleming noticed something interesting. He observed the mold was preventing this bacteria from growing and spreading. On closer examination, he identified that the mold produced a chemical compound that actually killed the bacteria. Dr. Fleming named this chemical substance penicillin. Now, this mold this little Armani that interfered with his study of the Staphylococcus bacteria led to the discovery of an antibiotic that has literally saved the lives of millions of people over the years. And it launched the exploration into other chemical compounds that could also destroy harmful bacteria. Understand this, when a little Armani shows up and your life gets tangled up, there may be a reason for that. When it does, let me share with you some tips you can use to turn these obstacles into opportunities. Number one, maintain perspective. When you experience a delay, a little Armani in your life, see this as a learning opportunity and look for the lesson this event, this moment is trying to reveal. It's trying to teach you. Don't lose sight of where you're going, but pay attention to what's going on around you so you don't miss something that could be life changing. Dr. Fleming did that and it changed the world. Tip number two, control what you can and manage what you can't. Understand there's going to be things in life you can control and a whole lot more that you can't. Take charge of the things within your control and accept the fact there's going to be times when you simply have to wait it out or You've got to let others who can control that moment do so. In the interim, make sure you manage your emotions and maintain proper perspective. going back to point one. Remember, events are momentary. This too shall pass. Tip number three, remain objective. There's often more than one right answer to any question you may pose. And there's often more than one right way to get where you need to go. When you close your eyes to the endless opportunities that are always before you, you may very well miss the next best greatest thing in your life. Be flexible, be adaptable, and be open to change. 
Sometimes this little Armani may turn out to be a welcome guest that's actually revealing something new, something innovative, and something changing. Little Armanis aren't always an unwelcome guest. Now, lastly, if you find yourself entangled by the little Armanis in your life, don't forget that you are a black belt leader in training. Puppies rightly trained turn out to be obedient, helpful, and contributing members of a household. It's our job to teach and train them to lead themselves. Now, when people are the cause of our entanglements, and yes, they often are, it's our opportunity to lead them, to teach them, to train and to equip them so they can learn, they can grow, and they can become a better version of who they are and what they do. And they themselves can also become a black belt leader. Now, this equipping, leading, and training, that's what you as a black belt leader should be doing every day. Black belt leaders replicate themselves in the lives of other people. They lead themselves well, they make good choices, and they teach others to do the very same thing as they model a life worthy of being imitated. So when life gets in the way, maintain perspective, control what you can, manage what you can't, and remain objective and open to possibilities. Let me encourage you with this, and I want to leave it to you as we wrap up today. Welcome the little Armanis in your life. They can teach you lessons that once you've learned and applied them, can help you become a better version of who you are and what you do. These little Armanis can share with us lessons like the one I've shared with you today. And when you open your mind and open your eyes and open your heart, to learn the lessons life is trying to teach you when those little Armanis come. Here's what's going to happen. You're going to learn to recognize how an obstacle can become an opportunity. And when you see that, you're going to see how you can achieve better outcomes, keep moving forward, experience more success, and keep winning. Hey, I'm John Terry, the Black Belt Leader, and I want to say thanks for joining me for this Black Belt Leadership Moment. Have a great day.